Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we look at the chat image plugin. So this is a really useful plugin which allows you to send images in chat as easily as pasting in the URL. So if I open up my chat here, you can see there is a few examples that I have sent in chat. Now you have to be careful, some images will not work as you can see from these links. And then if it gets annoying with spam, you can turn off images so they do not show unless you either hover over them or you re-enable them. So the way we would do that is type forward slash show images. And then now if I paste in a link, give it a second, it is going to appear in chat. And then obviously you can do the opposite and do hide images if you want to hide them again. Now you can customize kind of how they look and how we're going to look at that is by going to the spigot page. So here we are on the spigot page and you can see there is an example here giving you a good overview of how it works. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we can have a look at some of the rendering options. So there's two different ones. Now, depending on the image, it might be better to go with a more simple render versus the smooth one. Now I have recreated this in game. So if we do the command forward slash chat image, that is going to be the main command for the plugin. And then we're going to want to send an image to myself and this is going to be face one, which is gonna look like this. And then if we repeat the command, but put face two, you can see that it's the same image, but it's rendered slightly different. If you look at the eye, this has various shades of white and yellow, whereas this eye is completely white. And you can see the difference in the pink in the tongue and then also the side of the face. So that is the main difference between the rendering styles depending on obviously the image you choose. So going back to the web browser, we're going to find an image. So this is the Among Us robot and we're gonna right click and copy link address. Go back into Minecraft and you can simply paste it in like so, but you can also save the image. So if we do forward slash chat image save and we're gonna call it robot one, for example, paste in the URL, and then we have a couple of options. So the first option here is either default, false, or true. Now, this is regarding the rendering style. So true is gonna be smooth, and false is going to be simple. So let's go with false, for example. Then we have another option, default, false, or true. Now, this is going to be regarding the trim. So is this going to trim excess white areas and get rid of the border, yes or no? So uh, let's do that. And then you have the size, so you can do 35 by 20, which is the default size, or put in your own numbers. So I can just stick in default here, hit enter. That's gonna save the image as robot one. And then it's as simple as doing chat image, send like we did before to a player, and then robot one, it's going to appear in chat. And then let's do another example. This is the server miner logo. We're gonna copy image address, and then we're gonna paste it in. And there we go, looks lovely. So here we are back on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.19. And if we scroll down, there is something really important you should consider, which is the content filter. Now in its current state, I can put pretty much any image that I find into Minecraft chat. So what you can do with this is get an API key uh, by putting in your email address for this website here. And that will allow you to block all of the bad images that people may find. So I've gone ahead and signed up and it's given me an API key. Make sure you don't share this with anyone. And what I can do is copy that. And then we are going to go into the SMPitnet control panel, go into the config.yml. And this is where we can change a few things. So these are the default settings. So when we created uh, one in chat, you saw it gave true, false or default. And you can see true for both of these is the default. Then the max height and width and then the cooldown before another render will occur. But the bottom, we have the content filter. So you want to paste in your API key here, and then you obviously want to set the next setting to true. Now, it's also going to be important to set this next setting to true, and that will remove the message completely so they can't even see the link. And then we'll pop back into the game, and then we want to do chat image reload. That's going to reload the config file. And then I'm going to paste in a normal link. This is just a Rick Roll image. And then I'm going to give it a test with an image that should be protected on this server. 
So I've pasted in the image and as you can see nothing has happened, it has been blocked by the content filter and that will protect the users on your server. So that is the plugin, as you can see it is built fantastically, it's got some great features and overall is just a really cool plugin to add to your server. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.